Good early morning from Hawaii. We are on a little walk this morning because we are headed down to the marina, the Koalina Marina. So the area this, the area that Alani is in is called Koalina. I booked an excursion through Alani to do surfing today, but there was a uh, like a little bit of a stipulation that if they didn't get enough people to sign up, then they would cancel it. So they did cancel it today and I got a refund, but what I did is I booked a different excursion. I booked a catamaran, so I'm gonna do a three hour snorkeling catamaran. It is whale watching season, so we might see some whales. I'm not like, they didn't guarantee anything like that, and who knows, but it is morning. The sun just came up like, literally three minutes ago. It's, it's that way, the sun rises that way, so uh, it's beyond the hotel. But yeah, we're walking down the marina right now. We've got about a 20 minute walk ahead of us, then we're gonna get on a boat. Go out and do some snorkeling, see what we can see, some sightseeing. So let's go do it. I wanted to show off the sunrise a little bit as we're walking down there. We haven't made it very far. I think there's Aulani back there. But I wanted to point out that even though this beach has Aulani's beach chairs on it and everything, uh, it's a public beach. Anybody can come here and walk and hang out. Also, another thing that I found out is that on New Year's they do fireworks. There's a barge out there and they set off fireworks over top of the lagoon. I that was pretty interesting. Also, there's public bathrooms over here, too. And there are parking lots around. So that's where we're headed right there at the marina. It was about a mile walk from Aulani back there. This is called Ocean Joy Cruises. This one's called the Morning Calm Cruise. So that's very nice. I like that. I like the sound of it so far. All right, so we are now on the catamaran. They're gonna give us a little safety briefing up front, but right now they have all kinds of stuff for us, like uh, muffins and coffee, and I'm gonna get this passion orange juice. All right, we are on our way. Ooh, got the wind at our back, so it's completely still right now. Here's a look at what they have to offer us. First thing, got some juice, some sodas, some hot water for tea and some coffee, and then some muffins for right now. But then we're also gonna have lunch later. And then you can see, it's kinda like stow your stuff in here and then most people are sitting out on the deck out there. It's pretty wild because these things look so big when we're there, but so small from out here. Oh yeah, it's not very deep out here. We can already see the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a rainbow right there. A ton of dolphins over here. This is a big pond, say 100. So the spinner dolphins, like I mentioned, they're very small, five, six feet. Uh, they weigh like 150 pounds or so. And then uh, they are different because they rest in the day and then they feed at night. And so that's why they, they're in the shallows. It's only about 15 feet here. They feel safer, obviously. They can rest their, rest their brains and their bodies by shutting down one side at a time. By the way, um, this is Nanakuli. If you're wondering, the area, a lot of our Hawaiians live out here. They, the visibility looks really nice so far for our snorkeling here later on. Okay, we're gonna come up here. Let's go get one more pass with this, these dolphins, and then after that, we wanna we wanna go out. We we saw a few whale spouts. So the humpback whale, Amy spotted a few out there. So we're gonna go um, get in the area, hang out a little bit. Hopefully they'll surface for us, and then after that, we'll we'll come back to the shore, to the shallows, get some snorkeling done. Um, after snorkeling, we got some food, and we'll have a couple of drinks. All right, left side.
so they include lunch on this. They did have other like salad and stuff like that and rice, but I just got chicken, pork sandwich, and pineapple. Man, that was great. That was a company called Ocean Joy Cruises, and I just booked them right through the desk, desk at Aulani. It cost me about $160. It was a three hour tour, and it was, uh, we got to see dolphins, we got to see whales, we got to snorkel, they gave us lunch, and there were drinks on board. Like, I don't, you know, it was like mixed drinks and beers that you could get. Uh, it seemed like a fantastic deal to me. It was super fun. Uh, the snorkeling could have been a little bit better, like the, the area that we went snorkeling in was kind of like, there wasn't a lot of wildlife there. There was some, like we guys saw, we got to see eel, we got to see a turtle, see a lot of fish. But for the most part, it was pretty deep and you had to like go down probably like the 15, 15, 20 feet to the bottom in order to get a better look at some of the wildlife. Just being up on the top, you didn't get that good of a look at it. You could still see it, but it wasn't that good. But everything was well organized. Everybody on the boat was fantastic. I had a fantastic time. I would recommend you do this. If you come to Alani, try to do that. It was like a three hour snorkeling sightseeing tour on a catamaran. That's the way that they described it. It was a non-masted catamaran, so it didn't have a sail. Now we are walking back to Alani, and I will say that I'm walking back, but during non-COVID times, after I was reading my ticket, I guess there was like a bus that could take you, like a little like shuttle that could take you down here to the marina from Alani. But because it's COVID, they're, I don't know, maybe they just stopped doing it in general. But they're not doing it right now. How's it going, Minnie and Shelly May? I like your outfits. You guys look fantastic. Yeah, Shelly May, I love yours. Would you consider this a holiday outfit? Because it's, yeah, is it? I love it. It's got the, the white and the pink, or the white and the yellow, oh, and the bows too. It's perfect. Yeah. I love it. Amazing. Is it okay if we take a photo together? There they go. See you later, Minnie and Shelly Mae. Bye. There's Moana. Hi. Thanks Hello. for coming. Hi, everybody. You look so beautiful. Oh, she wasn't talking to me. I thought she was. Hey, Moana. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I wanted to show you my feet. Let me see. Oh Is that my good? Gosh. <laughs> he has full and hey hey. On my feet. On his feet. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my gosh, there they those are, are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I yeah. Can't wait to tell them all about it. Yeah. They won't understand, but who am I? I think Hey Hey will understand the most. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Thank you. How are we going to capture a moment with your feet? Oh, I don't know. Cool. That's a good question. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. After meeting the characters, I came down to Ulu Cafe and I was looking at all their drinks over here. And one thing I was curious of is why do all cans in Hawaii look like this? Like, this is different than a normal can, but like the beers, these little fruit juices, everything comes in a can with these like little ridges on the top. So while Tim was on his tour, Jackson and I got to meet Olu Mel. There he is. Olu Mel and Minnie. We get to meet them both. It was so cool to see him. He's super rare. How cool is that? Hi, Olu. Hi, Minnie. Oh, say hi, Olu. We've well, never seen you. And then after our character meet and greets, it was time to make our mini ears. This was such a cool experience and it was something that I definitely recommend that you sign up for if it's something that you're interested in. It was one of the classes that booked up pretty quickly. So we booked this a couple days in advance and it was $25 to make the ears without the lights and then $35 to make the ears with the lights. However, you do have to use hot glue to make the ears. So it was definitely like a supervised activity and we did it together. However, I was the one that used the glue gun, but he had a lot of fun like placing the items and picking out which items he was going to use and of course he really enjoyed seeing the final product. Definitely a really cool experience and I'm glad that we did it. Jackson, do you hear them practicing for the luau? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Hey, were you dancing? Yeah. You were. Wow. You were, you were hula -ing. Well, it sounded pretty cool, huh? Close the door. Close the door. Okay. Ooh, buddy, you hear him? Ooh, should we dance some more? <laughs> I like how he has like a walk. Yeah. You are so cute. This is interesting. So there's a luau tonight. 
and they are like practicing for it right now. I've never heard them practice before any of the other ones, though. Right? Maybe this is a special one. Maybe. Mm. All right, so right now, Jackson's woken up from his nap. He danced a little bit. Now we are doing the Mini Hooney Adventure Trail again. We're not going to show you like the tablet as much because that was kind of hard to show. But we are <laughs> going to show the effects that happen wherever we find something. We kept, we kept seeing this effect happen, so I'm excited to actually see it because it looked really cool when everybody else was doing it. Every time he finds one of these things that makes a noise, he says he's making music. You making music, Jackson? Are you making music, Jackson? Go. He's a maniac, maniac on the floor. That one doesn't do it, buddy. You gotta come back to this one. And he's dancing like he's never danced before. Did you see it, Jackson? Did it happen? Yeah, it already happened. Oh, it there it goes. Oh, look, look. Whoa. Can you feel it? Whoa. I, feel it. I bet you that looks really neat at night because it's like all lit up. It says to look up at Puka Iki. I think that's what this is. Yeah. All right. Wow. It's raining. Do you want to see it again? Okay. Yeah, push the check mark. Let's see it. Can there it, it goes. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think? Whoa. That is simulating volcanic activity. They said there hasn't been volcanic activity on this island in years. Did but the mini hoonie. Yeah. The mini hoonie made it happen today. All right, we were looking for the drums and we found it. You want to push the button, buddy? Push the button. All right, call Auntie. Ooh, they're playing it. How are they doing this? They're magic. Oh, are they? Yeah. We did it. You want to hear it again, Jackson? Do it again. Wow. Jackson. Say thank you. Wow, that was Big awesome. Big Will you clap for him? <laughs> thank you. So we told Jackson that there was one big special rock here at the resort, and he's very excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Here it is, buddy. This is the big special rock right here. It's a little baby. That's a big rock. What do you mean a little baby? So this is the Pico stone. Pico literally means belly button or the heart of a space. Members of the Aulani Cultural Committee identified the area as having a special energy and designated it with this special honor. And along with lead Imagineer Joe Rohde selected this stone to commemorate the location. Wow. There you go, buddy. So this is a very special stone, okay? And it's here because this is the property's belly button. Where's your belly button? Right there. See this? This is the hotel's belly button. How neat is that? Speaking of stones, you know how we often like collect rocks from places? Yeah. And we were told not to take a rock from Hawaii. Right. Because the, the earth and everything has cultural significance here in Hawaii. Yeah, you're not supposed to take anything away from the island. But you are allowed to borrow it, thank it, and then put it back where you found it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Supposed to look for. Oh, look inside! Look inside! Oh, look! There oh, they are. Look. 
See the little turtles? They're swimming out to sea. That's fun. You want to do it again? Oh, so this is interesting. On the app, it says that this is the petrified tree stump. I can't see any of that. It's just... Oh, look. Look at it. Whoa. We asked the question to the mini hoonies. We asked them a riddle, and they're telling us the answer. Look at that. Those rocks look like the Hawaiian Islands. I think we're on this one right now. Yeah. So this is it. This is Oahu right there. Also, Jen, speaking of like these koi fish, Jen got an Instagram DM that said that there is a koi fish with a Mickey on it. I don't know if I see it yet. We'll be on the lookout for it though. All right, we're looking for this right here, buddy. This unassuming great. What does it do? I don't know. Let's push OK. Push OK. Paula, oh, you got to stand right in the center of it. Stand right here, buddy. Did something happen? I don't know. Call Auntie. To forgive my hoopoe, lazy son, for dropping his stick on ribbon all over the island the guardian spirit protects. Push the play button. Okay. What's gonna happen, buddy? What's gonna happen? If the guardian spirit heard and accepted the holy, it should return to its rest. Oh, do you hear it? Oh, is it drumming? Is it drumming, buddy? I don't know. That's what it's not doing. Alright. The guardian spirit is returning to its resting spot. Oh. I think that's just underneath this this platform here. He's really getting the guardian spirit. He's very excited that the guardian spirit is headed back. Oh no. The fabric, the, the pattern faded. So we have to ask the mini hoonie for help. All right, push the play button, buddy. And we do a little Hawaiian chant and hope that they help us out. Let's see. Oh, oh thank you so much. Ooh, look at that. There's fire. Here it is. Fire. Right here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it looks like a shark. Oh. You see how the, the hole in the rock looks like a shark? That's cool, huh? It does look like a shark. Wow, guys. Okay. Do you think it's the coconut? Maybe push the coconut. Inside a coconut is more coconut. Oh, okay. Just Push the egg. The oh, I is think you do. Oh, look. Oh, look. A turtle. Wow. Oh, this looks awesome at night. Wow. You can touch it. Wow. That was cool, bud. It disappeared. Wow, buddy. You want to do it again? Wait, let me... Oh, sorry. I did it. What do you think, bud? Was that so cool? Are you touching the turtle? You did. You did it. That was it. Well, that was a fantastically eventful day. Like, I feel like that was quintessential Hawaii that we did today. We went out on a boat. We saw dolphins. We saw whales. We Then we went snorkeling. We saw a lot of different kinds of fish. We saw a sea turtle. It was like, a, it was amazing. And then we came back to the resort, had some lunch. While I was gone, Jackson and Jen got to make some Mickey ears while they were here. And I think they turned out fantastic. That was an additional charge that was like was like $25 or something like that. 25 for the ones without the lights and 35 for the ones with the lights. Okay. And then after that, we kind of like chilled out for a little bit. We got to go see some characters. Got to see Shelly Mae. Like this was, we did a lot of stuff today. And then we ended out the night by doing some more of the mini Huni trail. It was a great day. So, all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.